Hey guys, thanks for stopping by Greg's Beer Reviews today. Yeah, the old clock says it's five o'clock. Beer 30. Let's go see what's in the fridge today. Hello everybody, welcome to Greg's Beer Reviews today. Thanks so much for stopping by. Today's beer comes from Hot Butcher for the World. This is their Lord Octo Moss. Uh, I think they did do a Lord Octopus. Uh, but this is the Octo Moss. Sent to me by Jeremy. Jeremiah, I mean. Uh, from Hot Butcher. And it says it was packaged on 11-16-21. Uh, uh, Mosaic, Citra, and Simcoe Hot. Three outstanding hops, guys. This one coming in at eight per center. Big 16 ounce, plain Jane silver can with the heat shrunk label on. And I had, uh, they always uh, uh, list two artworks by. And I've never seen anybody other than Dan listed here. So, I mean, he's a very talented uh, uh, individual. Uh, let's see if there's anything else here. No, I don't see anything. Uh, Freshly citrus, dank, berries, and pine, piney tropical. So, uh, everything, guys, y'all know that if y'all have seen me do their beers, they, they don't mess up. They don't, they don't do bad stuff. They don't do a lot of transitional stuff, uh, as far as I know, they may. Uh, everything is awesome. Uh, so, we're going to leave it there. These guys are up in Illinois. Uh, Untapped has it at 7.5% and it's an 8 percenter. So, uh, maybe there's a 2021 edition out. Let me... Uh, do this real quick. Yeah, when I type in 2021, it doesn't return anything. So uh, it's eight percent on this particular one here with the date that I gave you here, guys. So evidently they've upped it a little bit. Uh, looks very cloudy, very hazy. I'm not sure it. And I say that a lot. You look at the dish pictures, and, and then I pour it in the glass, and it doesn't quite look the same color. Uh, the clarity may be close, but the color sometimes even that's different. It may look cloudy here and be clear in mine, or vice versa. So, uh, commercial description is exactly what's on the front of the can here on the bottom. So let's get it popped open. Very cloudy, very hazy. Don't seem to be too super carbonated. So let's do a little swirly swirl. It'll kick it up a little bit and maybe mix it up if anything gets settled in there. Almost two fingers of head, not quite. Guys, it uh, looks like a, maybe a watered down orange juice in the color. It's not quite as thick and chunky looking uh, as some of them are. Still looks pretty, pretty good. Nice looking beer. To the nose we go. Oh yeah, these guys know how to do these New England styles. I mean, they just knock it out of the park. That's like a home run after home run, just about. Very tropical, citrusy, piney, grapefruit, some melons, oranges, maybe even some mango in there. That smells awesome, guys. Let's dive in. Cheers, everybody. Cheers, Jeremiah. Everybody, and I'll bet you for the world. You rock. Wow. Never disappointing. Never. That is super tasty.
An outstandingly well made beer. Alcohol well hidden. All the stuff I was getting on the nose, I'm getting on the taste. I mean, that. super duper guys, I would spend my money on these beers all day long. Till the money run out. Alright, I don't see a whole lot of sediment or chunkiness or anything swirling around in there, so. Very nice looking beer, so uh, not a lot of settling has gone on. So let's go do what we do. We'll sip on it. We'll be right back. Hi right, guys, I'm back. Been sipping on it for a while now. Very nice light singles up on the upper part of the glass here. This is a delicious beer, guys. I mean, it is a super tasty New England style double IPA that has everything that you're looking for, basically. Grapefruit, pine, oranges, mango. Pineapple. It's all there. Final chip. Delicious. I mean, it's just absolutely outstanding beer, guys. I, I mean, there's nothing I can say other than it's a 10. So that's where we're going to leave it. It's an A plus beer to me. Beer Advocate has an 88. Really? Seriously? If you're buying a beer like this, and this is just my opinion, and you're giving it a score of 88 a B plus beer, you bought the wrong beer because you don't like a New England style double IPA, evidently. So if this if this didn't ring the bell, I think your bell's broken. Hmm. Anyway, over to Untapped, they have it at 4.31 solid A from those guys. So. Uh, 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 it's got the date on it, it's got the ABV on it, it's got the hops on it. What else you need? It's basically, that's, that's all you need. So guys, if you had Lord Octomos from uh, Hot Butcher for the World, this is the 8%er, not the 7.5 that Untapped has here. Uh, let me know what you think. Till we meet again, let's see what's in the fridge. I think we got one more Hot Butcher beer. Yeah.